Greetings, my name is Ben, aka Downsize It, and I am back here at Gear Gaming Bentonville with Robbie for some more of our Hephaestus Crusade and our fight for the controller of the Hephaestus system. And after the Saint Nina's Angels uh, getting their, you know, we'll just say they get, got their butts handed to them by the Space Wolves, um, they've returned from that moon and because they've received word from Greyfax that a dark ritual is being performed by the servants of Nyrath. And Nyrath the Limitless is attempting for some dark purpose complete a vile zinch ritual and the sisters need to stop them. So for this battle we'll be doing the mission the ritual from the core rulebook and we will see if the sisters can prevent the ritual from happening or if successful what will happen when the ritual goes off. We shall see. So, I will go over um, St. Mina's Angels first, who's coming today in the battle, and uh, what their current level ups and relics and upgrades are right now. I'm doing a vanguard this time, lots of characters, lots of elites, and no basic troops this time. So, uh, Canonist Commander Ava Zen will be my warlord, because she did uh, level up last week, and had, I gave her... The, fi the file of Dolan, which gives her plus one strength, plus one attack, and plus one leadership. So now that she matches leadership with Greyfax, I can choose her to be my primary warlord. And she does have Righteous Rage, she has Beneficence, and still working towards her uh, Trial of Righteousness, uh, one of her trials as a living saint. And then, of course, we have Greyfax and Celestine. Both get their warlord traits automatically, because named characters in Crusade auto automatically have those. So... No Escape for Greyfax, and Indomitable Belief for Celestine. Then for I have my Celestines, of course, as my bodyguards, led by Celestian Superior Eve Valdor. And then I also have my Seraphim, led by Seraphim Superior um, Angelica. And they did, they were awesome last week. They definitely made up for all of the um, problems they had with their first encounter with the Thousand Suns. They leveled up and they have now the, they are armored with contempt, at, as well as the Celestians are also armored with contempt. And then we also have my uh, Magifier, Mist Avriana, and I have spent a CP to give her the relic, the Simulacrum Sanctorum, so that she ha knows the tale of the faithful and the tale of the warrior. And then my Dialogus and my Hospitaller are both on the field today. Hopefully my Dialogus will actually do something. I don't think she intoned a single prayer last game. <laughs> she kept failing. Um, but the uh, prayer I'll be giving her today um, is going to be the uh, plus one. I, I always forget the name of it, but I think it's the Spiritual Fortitude one where it's plus one to the Invol save. And oh, and also I should say Greyfax's psychic power, if she knows, is going to be mental interrogation. And then lastly, we have a brand new unit because my Retributors, led by Sister Superior Evelyn, what not, got taken out and failed their out-of-action tests, and I gave them the Battle Scar Battle Weary. And then they chose to go into the Rings of the Repentia to, because of their shame and to make up for the failure that they had. So now they are on a path of repentance with some reinforcements from the Repentia ranks, and being led by Repentia Superior Camilla Wynn, who will guide them on their path to repentance. And I'll be starting, uh, I think I said it, but starting with five command points for this battle, and I will be the attacker. So coming up next, we'll have Robbie go over his Servants of Nyrath, the forces he's bringing today, and if there's any changes or upgrades, and of course, the endless amount of spells that he gets to pick for his guys. So with uh, my force, I decided, so Nazmir is close to leveling up, so he stayed pretty much the same. Even though he uh, didn't survive the battle last time, uh, he's still sticking with uh, Glamour of Zeech and Weaver of Fates, and he still has the Aguileon, sorry, the, the um, artifact that allows uh, units to shoot unhindered. And they also took the, uh, he still kept his Warlord trait where he gets three dice to cast. Uh, the uh, 
the second exalted sorcerer, Asmakir, took. Uh, I changed him out, spent a requisition point to give him Twist of Fate. Which is and he's also in color. Yeah. Zinch yeah, has granted fun. him. He doesn't have to be in the black and white shows anymore. Zinch has been kind. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I gave him a Twist of Fate. Instead, I switched out his spell, spending a requisition, requisition point, which is uh, 12 inches on an 8. It's no invulnerable saves. And then uh, I gave, he still stuck with his pre-sage spell. And everybody else, the, uh, the uh, two rubrics stayed the same. So the only changes, oh yeah, the other change was Breck the Contemptor uh, switched out his carries, assault pattern cannons, and put in Volkite, twin Volkite cannons. And uh, so I spent a requisition to change that out. So uh, I spent some requisitions, but other than that, not much has, has changed. Everything else has stayed the same. The rubrics still have the work flame stave and the four bolters. And uh, the, the scarab occults have stayed pretty much the same. So other than that, and then the, uh, the chaos rhino is still the same as well. So still pretty much the same forest and the zangors are up out front so yeah and you have several units i think they're on the verge of leveling up yeah they're getting pretty so, close yeah, both so, sorcerers are close and yeah so this even just participating in this battle win yeah. or lose could probably level up several of them yeah um, hopefully yeah and uh just to let you guys know that robbie will be starting with seven command points because he gets two bonus because um i'm at six crusade value right now and robbie's crusade value is two and so you just take whatever that difference is, divide it in half, round it up for extra command points to help offset like the level difference in the armies. Right. And uh, I don't know, we'll, I, we'll see how much of a difference that makes. Mm -hmm. So uh, coming up next, I'll go over the battlefield and the mission, um, the specific setup uh, rules for this scenario of the ritual. And then when we come back, um, I'll review where we deployed and we'll have everything already set up for um, round one for whoever's going first. Um, just to try to skip some of that fluff and just do overviews. So uh, coming up next, I'll go over the battlefield and the deployment. For our battlefield and mission, we'll be doing the ritual and incursion size mission for the crusade on page 345 of the core rulebook. And the servants of Nyrath will be the defenders and Nyarath himself must deploy in the ritual site. And Nyarath will have the option throughout the battle to perform a psychic action, and if he completes it, Robbie will gain 10 victory points. There will also be four objective markers on the table, and at the end of every command phase except the first, uh, you will gain 10 victory points for controlling two, and 10 additional for controlling more than your opponent. And then as the attacker, St. Mita's Angels will gain 30 victory points if they manage to kill Nyarath the Limitless. At the end of the battle, if St. Mita's Angels win, I'll be able to choose one of my units to gain a free battle honor. And if Robbie's Servants of Nyarath wins, he'll allow to pick for Nyarath the Limitless a free battle trait or a free psychic fortitude. For our agendas... St. Mina's Angels have chosen Kingslayer from the core book and then Atonement in Battle from the Sisters of Battle Codex. And Atonement, Atonement in Battle is the agenda where my repent, you need to kill a unit in melee and then they will, if they do that, they will gain one repentance point and they need three repentance points to finish their path of penance. For the Servants of Nyrath, Robbie has chosen Lord of the Warp and searching for knowledge as his agendas. Okay, we have deployed. The sisters are on the short end of deployment zone. We have some ancient ruins here, this old bunker, and we're counting these two, this square section and that section as ruins. Then all this foul Xenos and warp corrupted terrain is going to be Basically like woods and forests, dense. And this is the ritual site. The ring of vile power from the warp that is attempting to be channeled by Nyarath the Limitless. And you can see he has his Scarab Occult Terminators protecting him and has a whole, basically a gun line. This is going to be not, you know, pretty basic. You know, we're not going to be trying to outmaneuver people on this one. <laughs> And when we play subjectives, you can see there's one right here. 
that these um, rubrics run and these rubrics run on this one. And this mission, as I stated before, is going to be hold two, hold more for gaining victory points. And then Robbie, if he chooses, he can use his Warlord to um, cast a ritual spell to gain 10 victory points every time he does it. But that means he can't do anything else, so that makes that a little bit difficult. And just so you know that Celestine is on the top, but my match fire and my repent are actually inside this building here. So, coming up next. Oh, and we rolled off, and the sisters will, I won the roll off, and I chose to be first. So the sisters will be going first, coming up next. Okay, I've completed my command phase and movement phase for round one. Got three of my miracle dice to start it off, and I went up to six command points, then spent one during the hymnals to let my Dilo just auto pass her prayer because she can't seem to roll it. And I gave the um, chorus of Indomitable Fortitude, I think is what it's called, or Spiritual Fortitude, so my Repenti have an additional plus one to their Shield of Faith. And uh, over here, everybody walked forward except and then over here um, we had lots of advances so my repentia and my repentia superior advanced forward and the superior has and dr is driving them onward so they can advance and charge and my seraphim did a normal move and got on this point over here so we're holding both of these objectives while also moving forward and hoping for a really lucky um, actually now that I think about it, I'm going to need depending on how I string out going in the middle it's a nine inch charge but this is difficult ground, so that's a plus two, so I'd need 11 inch charge unless I go right through this gap. <laughs> so, but that's even that is a large ask. Try to touch these scarab occults before they blast me off the board, so. And that's gonna be the main thing that happens because all I have is just a little bit of shooting from my Celestians and maybe from my Seraphim if they're in range of their bolt pistols and then we'll be on to the charge phase. Okay, we will start with my Celestians. This will be the only shooting my Seraphim weren't really was were not in range to do anything. So we will have nine bolt gun shots into the Zangors. Six, eight, nine. Hitting on twos because they're next to a cannon S, and rerolling ones because they're next to their cannon S. Oh, pretty good roll. So they all hit. Um, what is the toughness of a Zangor? Probably four. All right, so wounding on fours. Two, three, four wounds, no AP. How many say five? Uh, four. Four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, two go through. Yeah, and just one damage each. The important one here is these Repentia, my Repentia Superior, going to these Terminators. I need a nine to fit through here, I'd like an 11 so I don't have to string them out, but basically a 9 will get me in, which is going to be difficult because I don't have any Miracle Dice to do it. Taking, I am taking a risk doing this, <laughs> but they are wide out in the open and I have to try to make this charge, otherwise we've seen what Scarab Occult Terminators can do, especially when Robbie, Robbie tools them up. So we will uh, start with the Repentia, so need a 9. They don't get it. So I will definitely command reroll that going down to four. Come on! Oh, I, they actually get three d six picked the highest since they were commanded by their superior. So the reroll, and we got it right on a nine. But that means I'm gonna have to go narrow. So let's move them in. We have to go. Through the woods, right there. Just, yeah. So the only way, <laughs> I'll have to do some pylons to get some more in. Oh, I forgot to ask, did you want to overwatch? Yeah, yeah. So let's do the overwatch first. And I'll take out the ones that <laughs> get gunned down. Two, four, four, yeah, I figured you definitely would want to overwatch for this. And you are in rapid fire, so that's yeah, gonna be four shots per. 
And this will be just the combi bolters. Yep, so first the combi bolters, 16 shots. On sixes. You get to reroll ones because you're next to your, uh, next to Nyarath. Ooh, four hits so far. Okay. So four hits. Uh, three. Yeah, so three's to wound. Oh, no. <laughs> so just one. So they are actually at a four binval right now because they have the uh, the him on them and they were near Celestine when they declared the charge. So need a four. And one damage each. Yeah. And then a five up, feel no pain. Nope, so one. Repentia does go down. And then the cannon. Soul Reaper cannon. Coming on in. One. Strength six. Two. Yep. Do you have any t any ones in there to reroll? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. Yeah. All right, four pinball. Make it. Shield of faith. All right, so now I'm gonna try to get my. You see the range on her aura to give them a bonus. All right, so my back one's in range as long as I don't move her too far out of range. But I do want to get my Pentia spear in. But she's gonna need an eleven. She's have to come through these woods. So. An 11, and she does get the 3d6 pick the best. A 3 will not do it. So she's like, I'm good staying back here, guys. And then just if, see if I get lucky. We're going to go over here to Celestine and have her attempt to charge those Zangor. I will need an 11 as well. But this is just the normal roll. Oh, I saw the six, but no. An eight. It's a great roll, but didn't make it. I don't think I have anybody else that I can try to just... Well, I take that back. I have my Seraphim. No, but you have to count terrain when charging, so they can't make it. They need like a 13 with terrain. All right, so we are in the fight phase. And the Repentia did make it in for a turn one charge, which is nuts. But... Oh, sorry, guys. Trying to get my camera leveled out here and... Get a good angle. Let's move over here. So I need to do my pile in and see how many I can get touching these Scarab Occults. The reason why I'm doing this, I need to keep the, her in range of my... So this back one is staying in range of my superior. That's, that's important. I need to maintain my coherency of two inches. So she's kind of sitting right there. So I can have five attack. One's going to have to sit out. Five? Who am I missing? Oh! I'm like, that's not right. These sisters would be way back here as well. Had some behind the wall that I forgot about. Sorry. <laughs> it's like I thought it was a squad of 10, but these won't be fighting either. They're just going to be strung out back here like this because they would have been too far away. So I'm definitely in range of my superior, but only five can attack. So they start with uh, two attacks each. So that'll be 10 attacks. Four, six, eight, 10. Then plus one each for Bloody Rose, so that'll be another five. And they are hitting on fours, but they re-roll because they have Zealot. And sixes explode from the pack. All right, so back to it. Now that we know our agendas, <laughs> we want to get our experience for our dudes. So uh, 15 attacks hitting on fours, re-rolling from Zealot. And sixes will explode. And a reminder, guys, my Inquisition symbol is the six. And then re-rolling. And then three sixes, so three more go in. All right, so now they are strength six. And toughness, I'm assuming four or five. So wounding on threes, but since they're near my superior, she's giving them plus one to wound. So wounding on twos. That was a good roll. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve wounds. It's AP four, so it'll be on your invulnerable save. How much damage are these? Two damage apiece. I will spend a command point and reduce the damage to one. Okay. For implacable guardians. Implacable guardians. Okay, how many you say it was? Twelve. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So that means all this dust comes back. I'm on well, it goes AP3 then. Yep. Okay. So, are you base 2, I'm guessing? Yeah, uh, save on them is base 2, yeah. 
Yep, so yep, it would be on fours. There are three wounds apiece, though, right? Yeah, so two, so two save. Yep, so if there were three wounds apiece, that would be one, two, three go down, and one is on two wounds remaining. You need to have a word with Zinch about all those ones and twos you just rolled. <laughs> And then, I'm assuming uh, the wounds on your Soul Reaper, dude. Yeah. And then we will consolidate, um, mainly just so I can put someone on Armin and say, Hey, Armin, what's up? <laughs> we heard you're doing some vile, heretical things. You would say that your dad would welcome you back with open arms, but I think that's a lie. But he might. Right now, you get to hit me back with uh, Scarabs and with uh, Armon. Or actually, it's not Armon. Armon's not here. This is Nyrath, and he, he wants to replace Armon <laughs> as the lead. <laughs> Nyrath. Oh, my mic hasn't been on. All right, so we'll go with the um, leader, so three attacks. Uh, hitting on threes, rerolling one, so we'll start just with the regular Soul Reaper guy. So hitting on threes. Oh. Ones. oh my gosh. And then the leader has his stave, which is a three. Wow, this is. Oh my. Bad. What's going on, Robbie? Oh my go. god. Three. You go five. And then <sighs> plus three, so he's at strength seven. Yep. So it's two. Yep. Two. Okay. And then negative one. Yep. He'll be on there. They are five up in now because they're not in range of Celestine. No, oh, and how much damage each? D3. D3? So two. Two. And five, I feel no pain. Almost, but nope. One more goes down. One more goes down. Okay. And then a Nyrath can attack. Two. Since I did move into combat range with him. Does the damage matter on anything for them? It does because they do have a feel no pain. They can ignore damage. Uh, five attacks. Hitting on twos. Okay, all one. He's got a stave, so that's going to be plus three. So we're looking at strength seven on twos. All, right. uh, all four go through at negative one. Hey, five up and vulnerable. Shield of faith made one. And then D three each. D three. So. Uh, oh man! All right, six. so. First one. So close. <laughs> well, you can re-roll those. I don't think you can re-roll if you're feeling up pains. Uh, second one. And then third one with two damage. Ah, so close on all of them, but no, three go down. They are leadership eight. I lost five. I have a three miracle, so I'm going to spend that to auto-pass their morale so that none run away. Okay. So that'll be it. I don't. I didn't gain any victory points, no experience yet or anything. But uh, we are now tangling and have temporarily disrupted the ritual. Although I, that means Nyrath doesn't have to worry about it. He'll just start casting <laughs> whatever he wants instead of trying to do the action. Let's see if my Repentia can survive long enough to get a kill and gain a redemption point. But we shall see. So coming up next will be Robbie's turn one. All right, Robbie's round two, done with his command and movement phase. Um, you're at, what, six command points? Is that correct? Yeah. And um, Asmakir got, uh, what, are, like a dark pact or whatever? Is that what that's called? Which one? The one that has... Yeah, he has the orary orb, which everyone within six inches on ballistic doesn't have to... Uh, right. They don't have to take any penalties on hitting. Yep, so put that on him, on Nyarath, so that... Um, these guys here within six can shoot through the dents without the penalties, which is nice. And uh, you can see the Zangors move forward. This rhino charged through these trees to move forward. Um, they're going to be targeting my Seraphim, I'm guessing. And then um, Vect the Faithless decided to fall back a little bit, but still within range with his long range guns. His Volkite cannons is what they are, right? That yep. you switched out for? Yeah. And uh, one thing I wanted to ask, did you want to keep these guys in melee? 
Yes. Okay, so they are staying in melee with my Repentia. And now we will be going on to the casting phase. All right, so we are in the casting phase. All right, who is casting first and what? He'll be casting Presage on him, plus one to hit. Plus one to hit, all right. Goes off on a seven, so we're looking at six. Uh, I'm gonna command reroll that. It's down to five. All right, I'm gonna reroll that. It goes off on an eight. Off on an eight, all right, we will my Celestians, we'll just do their normal Shield of Faith Deny. It is not. Okay, so it's plus one to hit on him, so that's one cast. Then I'm going to cast Twist of Fate, 12 inches. Do I have 12 inches? Yes. All right, no. Right there, yeah. Twist of Fate goes off on an eight. Take away their invulnerable saves. No, oh, yeah, not gonna want that. Nope. Okay. Before you go too far, don't you have like cabal points to like give you yeah, a boost? So I was or? what at a four? That was a four. Um no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cabal point that. And then I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna command point again and let him cast another spell. He's gonna cast smite on them. Okay, trying to smite the repentia. 10, 11. Oh, very nice. So that's a super smite, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we will have Celestine attempt to do her deny. Shield of Faith. Uh, no, I'm going to spend a command point for um, Purity of Faith, so I can attempt again. This time on a 4, it'll deny. Let's try a different dice here. It is denied. Okay. And then, so he's done. He's going to cast Doom Bolt on them. Doom Bolt, very nice. Goes off on a six. Give you guys a better view of what's going on here. There we go. All these trees in the way. Going off on a six. Goes off on a six. On a six. We'll just attempt the. Uh... So it was this sorcerer right here? Yeah. All right, we'll do the Seraphim, do their Shield of Faith. It's a six to deny. It is not. So uh, three damage. So just straight up three? Yep. All right, five up, feel no pain on the Repentia. Can they resist this pain? Only one goes down. Okay. Then we'll spend another command point. Down to three. He's gonna cast, so that means my Stardew's my age can cast another spell if he wishes. So he's gonna cast Smite. Very nice. This time you need a six. I will, so that's what? Five. Five with your plus one, yeah. So I'm going to use um I'm gonna use five points and go down to get a uh, another plus one, so it's gonna go through. Okay. And then I will use my Repentia Superior to try to deny this one. That's five. On a six. No. D three. D three. I'm gonna use another command point and it's gonna be a flat three. Flat three. Feel no pain. Uh, no, three go down. So I'm down to two command points. Jeez. Okay. Only one left, and I'm gonna leave the one that's touching Armin. Not Armin, Nyareth. Why do I keep calling him Armin? <laughs> I'm insulting Nyareth. He's like, Armin's a, a jerk. <laughs> He's a chump. All right, so we're at, um, so he cast twice. Okay, so I need to keep track of this. So, Asmakir cast once. The rubric, the first set of rubrics. So Doom Bolt, he got two off, two casts. And now we're gonna go back over here. And this rubric right here, he's gonna cast Smite on that one. Hey, I need a seven for this one. Okay. Uh, 10, 11. 10, 11. So a super smite. Well, we will go ahead and use my Repentia's chance to deny this. Come on, Shield of Faith on a six. <laughs> no. That'd be six. Six. <laughs> Can I roll six fives? <laughs> no. Oh, no. My Repentia were not able to redeem themselves, so that agenda cannot be completed. Okay, so that is a kill for him. 
uh, with a psychic power, which means nothing. So I just get one kill to psychic power. And then a miracle. Man, I like threes. As when Repenti go down, it is a miracle. Killed. Although, I prefer them to go down in combat, although not to s vile psychic powers. Okay, so much. They'll just have to earn their points. redemption on another day. Do you have any other denies? Oh, yes. Um, Grayfax still has two denies she can do. Um, and it depends on range, but like my Kenaness, my Dialogist, and my Hospitaller have not denied yet either. Yeah, one destroyed model. Oh, my. Okay, Bring so. Bring a Terminator back? Yeah, so. You then cast it on that. And you get 3d6, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'll just take away that for a 7. Goes off on a 7. We'll use Grayfax to try to deny this. No, that dust will stay dead! <laughs> and she gets plus 1 to her deny, so I need a 7 on the dice. It is denied! Okay. And then he will cast. Um. Is anyone in range for a smite? They are. Oh, smite my seraphim. Where are, we, where are we gonna be at? I think it would need to be an eight on this one. Yes. Yeah, so 3d6, so take away the lowest. Um, seven. We say it was. How many denies do you have left? I still have plenty. Um, so, so if I went and I spent my last. Cabal point to bump it up to an eight. Mm, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, it will deny. So he didn't get any spells off. So can't he cast a third one? He knows three, right? No, that's only Arimon. Oh, okay. I have to command point. I already used it for him. All right. I wonder so, if there's an uh, like a battle honor you can give him, like a yeah, saint specific probably. one that lets I him think, cast additional powers. Once he okay, levels up. so I'm down to five five cabal points. So I'm gonna use my last five to cast. Um, uh, it's basically a spell to get a command point back on a three up. You got it. So we'll get one command point. So we're at the three. So that will take care of all the cabal points. Okay. Next. That was a lot of command points. Yeah. And a lot of spells. But you achieved your goal. You killed my Repentia. Yeah. So I got them off. You probably did not want to keep them in melee with you. Okay. So we'll go into shooting. All right. Who's shooting first? Uh, he will. He's going to shoot at them. Oh, I guess I could have kept this over here. All right. Wreck the Faithless. Shooting. At my Seraphim from downrange, it will be going through dense terrain because the walls are dense as well. So this will be, but he has a plus one to hit, so it's just going to cancel itself out. Six, eight, ten. Into my Seraphim. All right, hitting on threes, re-rolling one since the Warlord's there. All right. All these threes are one, so we got these. Mm -hmm. and that's a mess. That's a great shot, though. <laughs> one, yeah. So then three. And these are the Volkite Blasters. Okay. Strength six. Winning on twos. All right. So every six is a mortal wound. Every six is a mortal? Yeah. Oh, man. So how many mortals? Four mortals. Four mortals. And yeah. I, they are not near my hospitaler, so that's just four dead right off the bat. And then... Armor of Contempt. Armored with Contempt won't help that. Let's see, what am I at? So that's, and that's addition to the regular damage. Yeah, so uh, oh, how many more wounds then? Oh, I forgot to use a command point for Ensorcel of Infusion. Dead gummit. All right, never mind. So I can't use that now. So Don't those know. are all the wounds? Yeah. So four, eight, nine. Eight, nine. I need four Invulnerables on Angelic Visage and Armored with Contempt. I'm sure it's got plenty of AP. Oh, there's, yeah, there's no AP. No AP. So actually, I'll save on. Th so they only one more failed then. So we've been on threes. Two damage. Yep. So one more goes down. So five have dropped. That was painful. Yeah, I may switch those out because they kind of. Okay. No, I mean that. That's you know, it's not a bad thing. You know what I can do when I get into melee with you. <laughs> so yeah. it's a good counter. Uh, so now he's got his. Uh, um, he's got his missiles, which they're just fours. All right, so it's D6, five, two, three, five, hitting on threes, rolling ones, uh, strength four, no Hitting on threes. Okay, and three. Three, no AP. No AP. Just so you guys know, this cover right here, we're not, this is, 
This is a not does not give a bonus to armor, so I need threes. Um, failed one, so one more. They're going down fast. <laughs> That pre-sage, I should have tried to deny that better. Okay, and that then, made a big difference. So he's out of shots, so we'll move on to, let's go ahead and just go with these, since they don't take any penalties, they'll shoot at them. Scared with cults. So four shots. The golden boys right there. Didn't move, so they'll get four shots. We're rolling the ones, they take no, no penalties for shooting at them. Yep, so this will be the leader, yep, no penalties. Three. So it's strength four. Yep, so running on threes. That's and negative two. Yep, so four been vulnerable. Uh, wow, okay. When I roll my shield of faith, they make it. Okay. Now yeah. the uh, Soul Reaper cannon. That. Reroll. That. Three. Strength six. Winning on twos. Winning on twos. Right, two go through it. Negative three. All right. Four been vulnerable. No. <laughs> Two more go down. And then the two crack missiles. Uh, yeah, I probably should keep my. Well, I guess, yeah. Two crack Still not done yet. Yeah, missiles, then strength eight, so twos. One goes through. I think it's negative two AP. Yeah, so the four up and vulnerable. Made it. And so he's done. Um, I will now shoot with the. Rhino. So the rhino is now shooting. Between half distance. Blah, 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 blah. Trying to drop my seraphim. <laughs> so he's within half distance. Uh, probably should not have started with him on the board, maybe. Four. So eight shots hitting on threes, re rolling ones. I'll go through. Strength four. So hitting on wounding on threes. Uh, that's not good. So three, four saves, and I got two. Four ups. Shield of faith. Uh, failed two, and that's the squad. It's I don't think it's worth spending man point to re-roll that. Oh no, Seraphim squad goes down y again. <laughs> so then one kill for the Rhino. The uh, Rhino. Thousand Suns have their number. Okay, so then that's the, and then I don't think. They're within range, 24. Um, shoot. Who do I wanna move now? Or shoot with now? So I guess I'll shoot them. That's about the closest I think I can get. Yeah. I think only uh, the ones on your on your oh, right can see her. Yep. Oh, that's right, that's right. Yep. So they're blocked. So yep. it's going to be just this, these two right there. Yeah, and just so you guys can see, they're shooting at a repentious superior Camilla Wynn, who is now no longer being blocked by units. She can be oh, shot at. From lookout, sir. Okay, so four. effective. He's hiding there. Hitting on threes. I'll go through. Uh, four. So we're winning on. Is she strength? Strength no, three. three. Toughness three. Uh, two go through it, negative two. Two. What is her base armor? So, need fives. One damage each? Yep. She goes down to two health remaining. I think that's all the shooting. So, it's gonna go into charges now. Oh, is the Zangor gonna go in? I'm gonna try. Alright, so. Six. I'm charging this Celestine. Uh, no, actually, I'm not. I'm not gonna charge. No. No. Okay. Well, she can fly though, can't she? How she far can. She can move? Twelve. She's pretty much gonna kill them the next turn. And she does have her sword is a flamer, so if I Overwatch, it'll be auto hits going into them. Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna leave them right there. All right. And I think that's it. All right, that'll be it. Uh, no victory points scored, but lots of sorcery going on, lots of experience being gained, lots of kill tallies. 
Um, yeah, that was devastating. Lost my Repenti and my Seraphim. We'll have to see in round two if St. Mina's Angels can recover. Start of my round two, and... I got another three on the Miracle Dice. I like threes for some reason. Mm. Got the four command points. You notice I didn't spend one foolishly and decided to roll for my hymn. And my Dialogus didn't intone it. I rolled a two. What is actually a one? What is going on with you? You're supposed mm -hmm. to be the singer. Ugh, this is getting uh, embarrassing. Uh, so my Celestians and everyone here move forward, going to tangle up with these Zangor. Celestine jumped over them, is going to tangle up in here and try to just cause a bunch of chaos on this left flank. Um, my Hospitaller Amaya, Sister Amaya, came up and healed Camilla Wynn, who then moved around to the side here and is going to join the charges into the Zangor. So we'll do some shooting. And then, actually, I don't know if I want to shoot. I think I want to... I might do some shooting. We'll see. I don't want to wipe squads out without charging so okay so the shooting I am going to do I'm not going to shoot the Zangors because I don't want them to die I want to charge into them but I'm going to shoot into these rubrics so let me check some ranges here yeah so we will start with Celestine and her Gemini start with the Gemini hitting on twos just bolt pistols and wounding on a four one wound no AP, one damage, so you're all is dust. Good. Then the Ardent Blade. One shot. Wounding on a three. Nope, because of strength six. And then we will have an array of um, Bolter Fire from my Celestians back here, which will go into these rubrics. Just to try to soften them up with their two up saves that they'll be getting. Is, there, is it multiple damage? No, no. Yeah, just, just regular old bolt guns. Um, do have some rapid fire. I have two rapid fire in the front. Oops. So that will give me 11 shots. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Hitting on twos because the next one is three rolling ones. Uh, that was a really good roll. They all hit. Wounding on fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven wounds on twos. Okay. Uh, one wound. Okay. And then we'll do Camilla win with her bolt pistol. The superior will miss. All right, so that was nice, quick, and painless. <laughs> So let us now start with charges, and we will go ahead and start with my Celestians charging into those Zangor. I can't fail, but I want to be able to move them around, so I'm going to roll and see how good I get. I get to reroll that because Tail of the Faithful is nearby. Five. I want to try to get more distance, so I am going to reroll with Tail of the Faithful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. uh, well, good thing it wasn't failable, but oh my gosh. The Emperor is not with it. We're still recovering from the beat. I, um, by the time we we're filming this, it actually hasn't come out yet. But um, the beating we took at the hands of the Space Wolves is clearly affecting us. Move these guys over this way. I need to give room for my Cannon S. We're just going to leave that little, little gap there as long as they're two away. Yeah, we're just going to stay back a little like so. Cannon S charging the Zangor. Come on, Cannon S. There's a 10. Um, minus 2 for going through this. Yeah, I want to get her charged all the way around, like so. Um, Grave oh, I forgot to cast a spell with Grayfax. But I wasn't in range. Never mind. Grayfax will try to charge. She wants to tangle it up. She gets a 7. If I go through these woods, needs a 5, which will be just enough to get her up to there. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Not really. These trees are in the way. <laughs> um, and then Camilla Wynn will charge the Zangor. Uh, that is an 11. That's a fantastic charge. Sure, let's uh, touch her all the way around to this side as well. Why not? 
Um, well, actually, I don't want to get too far away from my tail of the warrior. Same thing with my cannoness, so I'll actually move her back this way. And then the one that matters. I'm just gonna. Ch I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna declare Vec, but I'm gonna declare uh, Asma Kier and these rubrics as a charge. Overwatch. All right. I'm assuming with the rubrics. So I'm gonna use the pistol first. D6 shot. Six. Six. So we're. Is it strength three on the uh, toughness three? Toughness three. So, so fours. And they on fours. Uh, five goes third, negative two. Okay. Yeah, so I'll be. How many went? How many wounded? Five. Five wounded. Armor Saint Catherine fours. Uh, all but one. It's just one damage. Yep. Okay. Uh, Gemini takes a damage. We'll put it on this one. Bolters. Two goes through, negative two. All right, so we need threes. Yep, threes to wound. Threes, negative two. Yep, Armor St. Catherine, fours. No, one damage each. Yep. All right, well, this Gemini goes down, and then this one goes to one wound. And then we got the cannon. Soul Reaper cannon. And nothing. Okay. okay, I need a five. I'm not going to spend a Miracle Dice because I can spend a command point to re-roll this. Come on, five. Four. <laughs> command point. Down to three. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Is it? All right, let me double check. Make sure it is. I measured it right. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, oh, no. I'm sorry. It was a four because I'm within a five. Okay, four makes it. But good Lord. Are you kidding me? All right, I'm just going to adjust this so that because her wings would get in the way, but she's going to land right like so, not quite touching. And now onto the fight phase. I need to decide who to attack with first. The thing is, I don't know how scary your Zangor are, but I think Celestine could potentially tank. Yeah, I need to go into your Zangor first, I think. So, we will start with my Celestians. So they will do their consolidate, or pile-ins, I should say. Now, can I interrupt? Uh, with two command points, yes. Uh, I need to keep consolidating over so that everybody can get in on this action. All right, so Celestians going into your Zangors. And this is going to be a ridiculous number of dice. Yes, so on the charge, um, 9 times 3 is 27. So 27 attacks with just the basic sisters. Celestians attacking, this is going to be a lot of dice. So we're just going to do this in groups of 10 to make it manageable. Two. Four, six, eight, ten. So this is 27 attacks. These, these are my not my superior. These are just basic. They're using a bunch of their guns, kicking, headbutting, all that good stuff. Hitting on twos, re-rolling ones, sixes explode. Okay, we got two explosions. And then strength four, because they're near to the tail of the warrior. So toughness four, so wounding on fours. Not bad. One, two, three, four, five wounds uh, for the first set. These are AP one, but it'll just be on your five up invul. Three through. Okay. Three, four, six. Eight, ten. So next ten. And then fours. Uh, one, two, three, 
Four more. Uh, Four, six, seven. Then seven for the remaining of the basic attacks. And then this goes back in from the explosion. And then fours. One, two, three, four again. Well, this is nice and regular. Uh, one. So one well, not quite. Okay. <laughs> now my superior with her power sword in that unit will attack. But he might. So she gets four. Is it four? Yep, four attacks on the charge. Hitting on twos. Rerolling ones. And then this will be. Because it's a power sword, this will be strength five, so wounding on threes. So three more wounds on your invuln. Can he live? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to spend two command points, interrupt. Yep, so Zangor goes down. And then I will consolidate. Yep, we're just going to. These guys all go like so. Okay, and then you are interrupting with who's going to be attacking. Oh, all right. Asmakir. Pardon me for the earthquake here, guys. But Asmakir going into Celestine. All hit. And then seven strength, hit wounding on twos. Wounding on twos. All wounds, so that's five hits. So five wounds. Negative one. All right, so, and this will matter, so I need to take it on the Gemini first, so four up. Nope, so Gemini goes down. And the rest go on to Celestine, so I got four. These are D3 each, right? Um, we'll do the first three, see what happens. Actually, it doesn't matter. You can do some all at the same time, because a uh, moment of grace can happen after the roll. So that's one save. I will moment of grace, so command points actually go down to two to turn that into a four by spinning a miracle. And then, yeah, we'll have two go through. Six. Yep, and she is minus one damage though, so it'll be four. So she will go down to two wounds remaining. That was quite the slap. <laughs> he was like, I have seen you before, servant of. I have one more command point. I could have added plus one to all of his damage. Oh, no. <laughs> well, now, now I'm trying to decide. I mean, that was in a, I was thinking about wiping out your rubric squad, but. Since he did that, she feels a little affronted. How many wounds does he have? Five. Yeah, Celestine's gonna swing on uh, <laughs> on Amric here. Uh, yeah, Celestine's gonna swing on Amric here. So uh, hitting on twos, sixes are mortal wounds. No rerolls. So two mortal wounds. And four. And then that six will explode from the passion. And wounding on three, strength seven. And three wounds on your invul. AP four. There's a sigil of corruption. Uh, sigil of corruption, yeah. So how many was it, 30? Three, yes. Four up. Uh, he is probably dead. Yeah, two damage each. Six, so he's dead. But now your rubrics get to go and see if they can drop Celestine for the first time and hope she does not resurrect. I'm assuming you want to consolidate in, get everybody in there. Do the standard, so that will be eight attacks, four, six, eight, 
threes. And then oh, very nice. Here, no AP, so it will be uh, threes. Yep, strength four. And it said no AP. Five. So these will be on twos. I'll roll the first four. <laughs> wow. She was destined to. Well, actually, that was only two ones. Was that everybody attacking? You saw yeah, the staff. Like staff. Nah, it's not worth it. I'll let her go down, and we'll see if she resurrects at the end of the phase. So Celestine is down temporarily for now, and not if she resurrects. All right, now for my final charging units. They still get to do piling and consolidations, so basically gives them extra movement in the fight phase. So we will have my cannon S come up and say, I can't attack you right now, but I will touch into you. So will Grayfax, because so am I. While coming in there, and now the part that matters, Celestine, does she resurrect? On a two, it is not re-rollable. Just straight up, on a two! She comes back with full wounds, but not in combat. So that has to be as close as possible. So I'm just gonna put it on the other side of this. Where Wrecked can do his mortal wound shenanigans on her. <laughs> All right, so that'll be it. Um, I do gain a miracle dice for destroying a unit for a five. That's a little bit better. And then I think that is everything, so we'll be back at the start of Robbie's round two. Yep, so Robbie in the command phase, what's your cabal points? Six. Six now, with one command point. He decided not to get out of combat here with my characters, because he didn't want to get off the point. And he gained ten victory points, because he is on two... But I am currently on two as well, so not holding more. And so the only movement was this uh, uh, rhino just, you know, charging through all this foliage. Keep going. And, yeah, lots of shooting going down. We'll see if my Celestians can survive. <laughs> this is going to be quite crazy. Okay, so, of course, before shooting, there is tons of psychicness to go on. Um, keep in mind, Robbie, you will be at a minus one to cast for units that are within 12 inches of my... Cannon S, which will be going out to here. Um, and she also cannot be targeted. So if she's the closest, that will affect smite potential. But I don't think that's going to matter because I don't think she's the closest to anybody. Okay, so I guess I'm going to first want to use my three cabal, my four cabal points to see if I can get an extra command point. So he's going to cast it. It's three dice, goes off on a three. So it goes off on a seven. And what's this doing? Give me an extra command point. I Next. guess I go ahead and do it. So, so, so psychic acid, seven. so it can be seven. denied. Yep. So we'll try just with a standard uh, shield of faith. We'll do for my Celestians. No. That's my two. So up to two command points. All right. Um, and then... Yeah, I'm probably... He's going to cast Time Flux. On them goes off on a six. Uh, we'll take the eleven. <laughs> Wait, you don't want the uh, more portal? Uh, so what does time flux do again? Oh, is that the healing? Uh, all right, we'll try it with my uh, imagine fire. Shield of faith. It is denied. Okay, and then I'll spend the command. The emperor is not having any of this resurrection shenanigans unless it's Celestine. Command point. I'll cast one. I'll cast my smite. He'll cast smite on her. And this is uh, him spinning a command point to cast an extra one. Right. So that'll have. So smites have to go to the closest. Oh, okay. So you have to cast it on my celestians here. Uh, hey, attempt to smite my celestians. Nine. So a ten. So uh, we will try with. Uh, I thought it was a deny. I done my celestians. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was at nine. Right, well, I, yeah, I was deciding if I want to do Grave Axe's Deny, which is a normal one, or just do their Shield of Faith, but trying to do on a 10, because you get, pl he gets plus, everyone gets plus one to cast, right? right? Yeah. 
So yeah, we're gonna try it with my hospital or we'll try to deny it on a six. And is denied. Then I will cast um what do I have to do? That time surge. That he's gonna cast my um that, that chaos yep. one up there. Yep, so the Terminator Sorcerer trying to smite, getting a six. Oh, super smite. <laughs> uh, my uh, Dialogist will try to deny it. On a six, can we keep denying? It's the, oh my gosh. <laughs> and then, um, so he that denied, then he will cast um, Doombolt on them. Doombolt, yes. On a, can I even, I just thought you should have used some of your cabal points. Don't you have like a you can't deny me a cabal okay, point? I got it. You need to get a command point. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Okay, so it goes up on a six. Got it on an eleven. Use this front. Right. Can I roll another six? Wait. So these guys are in the corner, right? I need to figure out who's in range to do this. All right. We'll do my Repentia Superior, her Shield of Faith. Let's get a good roll to make sure this is a good. Not denied. So it's just three. D3. One. One. All right, we'll have this uh, Celestian go down. Two. And so that's his casting. Ah, I'm keeping track because he's been casting. All right. He cast, he got a cast off. That's one. Yep, and Nyrath got uh, two off. He just didn't get his smite. Yeah, Nyrath, so he's at two. Yep. And then... He did yeah. not. No, he did not get his off. Okay. Then, got one more caster left. Yeah, I'm gonna cast his smite. That's all he's got. So it's gonna be this guy. Yeah. Yep. So who cast into Celestine? Smiting Celestine. Nine. So off on a nine. So a ten. Well, we'll try to deny it. On Celestine's own six. No, it was right there. It was right there. <laughs> All right, D3. You got one command point. Nah, I can't, I can't do it. Um, I could do a flat three. Oh, it caught, is it a stratagem? Yeah. Here, yeah, to put her on three health. That would make it a lot easier to shoot her down. She's currently at six. Oh, six? Yeah, uh, no, I'm not, no. I'll just Save the command point. The one, she goes down to five. Hey, shooting phase. Who's going to be shooting first? Yes, yep, that sorcerer did. The battlefield. So who wants to shoot first? All right, Brecht. Gonna try to end Celestine with those insane. What are they called? Volkite blasters? Yeah. Very nice. Just, I'm only doing this because you can't see her, but. So, as you guys can see her, but she is behind the trees. So, it'll be minus one to hit, just shooting through the dents. Okay. I'm gonna use my last command point for Infernal Fusilade. Inf Source self infusion, so it gives mm -hmm. him a negative one to hit uh, on his AP. Penetrate, armor penetrate, yeah, so now he has AP one on his Volkite cannons. So he'll be using those, hitting on threes. So what's that doing, Give, giving him an AP? Is yeah, said? Okay, one, gotcha. So hitting on fours. Hitting on fours. Here it comes. These Volkites. And then wounding on, what's the strength? Sixes. So wounding on twos, but sixes are mortals, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, no mortals, please. There's yeah. nothing I can do with that about that. Wounding on twos. Wounding on twos. But you still got two, four, six wounds. Negative one. Negative one. So I need threes. I'm going to roll five of them first. Leave one to the side for now, just in case. So threes. How many damage each are these? Two. They're two damage each, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, and he still has his missile launcher, doesn't he? Yeah. So I saved those, I still have one more to make. So she's taking two damage, for sure, going down to three. I'll go ahead and just roll this one. 
No, she's down to one health remaining. <laughs> Jeez. <clears throat> Alright, and then the... Actually, I think his missile launcher is 2d6. I think I messed up on that last time. Cyclone missile launcher. Yeah, it's 2d6. Three. Hitting on fours. All hit. Strength. Four. Winning on threes. All hit at negative one. Negative one. Need threes. Alright, we're gonna do this one at a time. <laughs> Drama. Need threes. Three. Need a three. Then I'm going to spend this miracle to auto pass that one. She's alive on one. <laughs> wow. That was. I got very lucky you didn't get any mortals. Because the odds were you should have gotten a couple mortals. For sure. All right, who's shooting next? He is. He's gonna shoot everything in the middle. All right, Rhino going into my Celestians. Or can he shoot at her? He can shoot at her. He could. But he moved, so there would be four shots. Hitting on threes. Oh man. <laughs> I'm going to shoot at her. Shooting at Celestine. I mean, she is four. extremely deadly. Hitting on, four, uh, hitting on three, so... Yep, because you're within the aura. Alright. Strength four. Uh, I'll hit. Negative two. Eight. Well, nothing I can do about this now. Straight up fours. No, Celestine goes down. <laughs> You think how much stuff it took to kill <laughs> Right. Gosh. Right. Well, there are specific, like, vehicle battle honors you can give. Which, I don't know what, what good that would be on a rhino, but... <laughs> Alright, who's shooting next? He gets cup holders for this. Right, cup holders, exactly. <laughs> um, Alright, we'll go with him. He's going to be 6 Alright, shooting into my... Six, six, three. Oh, nice feet. Uh, wounding on fours. Um, three go through. Negative two. Negative two. All right, now Celestine's gone. They do not get their bonus. So four up in vol instead, or five up in vol. I mean, one goes through. So one Celestian goes down. Rubric four or um, uh, I'll just do the first combi bolter hitting on threes. Why do we have reroll one? Well, that really sucks. What's also really good is that whatever that spell is or ability yeah. to ignore the negatives has been very beneficial as well. Are they a toughness three? Toughness three, yeah. Wait, oh yeah, this is the combi. Yep. Yeah, so two, three, go through it. Yep, need fives. Uh, save two again, wow. Yep. And then the cannon. Mm -hmm. Three. Then the cannon. These will be twos. That's negative three. On fives. Uh, three go down. And the missile launchers, he's got two hitting on threes. Free roll the one. Uh, strength eight, so that's a two. That's a two. I think it's a negative two. Alright, on a five. Nope. Ming Whittle down. Um, he's gonna, since he's in combat, he's gonna use his pistol. Yep. He's got, so these are all characters? They are all characters. Which one do you want to shoot? I guess the one that's doing the... Who's the deadliest in the hand to hand? Oh, oh it's definitely my Cannon S, the one with the sword up in the air. <laughs> yeah. Cannon S Commander Ava Zen. She is very deadly. Five. Uh, uh, fours. Two go through at negative two. Two at negative two. 
She has an in, four up invul, the Rosarius, and just one damage. Down to four health remaining. And then these Barbarites are all in range. Shooting at my Celestians. How many of these Rubik's over here? Shooting up into the corner. Only got three left. Threes. Uh, so five go through, I got two. Oh no! Can they live? Went so close. Um, but they go down. So no charges. All right, so we'll go into the fight phase where I'll get to pick the first model to attack against these rubrics over here. Oh, so you get to attack first? Yes. Okay. Yeah, ninth edition they changed that to where when you go to the normal operation, it goes to the uh, quote unquote defender gets to pick the first person to attack. Which it will be my Canon S commander. So she will attack first. She is enraged by the loss of her bodyguards and Celestine going down. But she was not charged. She, she, she does not get the Bloody Rose benefit there. But because of her file of Dorian, she gets five attacks base. Plus three from Beneficence. And does not get the bonus Beneficence attacks because she not six models around her. Sitting on twos, re-rolling from Righteous Rage. And then that explodes. Um, and this will be strength six. So wounding on threes. Rerolling from Righteous Rage. So that'll be three, six, seven wounds, AP three, two damage. So I think it'll be on your invuls. Seven, you said? Yes. Uh, I'll go through. Well, she was definitely pissed off. That's two damage each. Yep. And then she will go ahead and do a little consolidation. Just up here onto the point. All right, that's all for the fighting. Things are not looking good for the sisters, but I do have some characters in Robbie's lines, but he still has a ton of shooting. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to recover from this. He is up on victory points as well. We shall see coming up next round what I can do for round three. Okay, start of round three. Here's all my miracle dice I got. You know, start of the round for killing a unit and for Celestine dying from last round. Went up to three command points. I just want you guys to know, I tried to intone another hymn with my Dialogus and rolled a one again. <laughs> so this Dialogus, who I don't even know her name like, off of my head. Let me get her name because she needs to be called out for how bad she is. Let me see here. <laughs> Sylvia Dane will be on the bench for the next battle. You, I think, have rolled. Four or five one, straight ones trying to tone hymns now? Crazy. Other than that, as you guys can see, I'm now playing Hero Hammer. <laughs> All I have left are characters. So, Grayfax and Camilla Wynn are going to be going after Nyarath, even though she really wants to because she wants to get the Warlord Kingslayer bonus and she needs it for the uh, Trial of Righteousness. But, Vrekt here is such a threat, I need to try to drop him. Otherwise, he'll just blast my characters off the board. So she must be selfless in her trial of righteousness on her path to sainthood. So we'll see what we can do. We actually have a psychic phase. Grayfax is going to attempt to interrogate Nyrath. Okay, very rare for the sisters to have a psychic phase. Only really ever when they have an Inquisitor with them. And I think we are going to do mental interrogation. I don't know if it, how beneficial it will be, but it will be cool to try. Mental interior. Oh, I forgot. With Inquisitors, I can do an orbital bombardment with them. But it costs 4 CP. Oh, wow. Yikes. 
All right, I need to target a character within 12. There's Nyarath there. On a six, it goes off. Is it a spell? It is a spell, so, so you'll be able to deny, yes. Um, all right. It goes off on a seven. He's like, uh, plus one. he's like, uh, no, sir. Oh, no. <laughs> so, uh, this part won't matter. Now, whenever you try to attack, he's at minus one now until the start of my next psychic phase. But now I roll 3d6. If I beat your leadership, I gain a command point. Basically gaining some information. I'm assuming leadership nine. Well, that was 16. I think that'll be... <laughs> So I go up to four command points. I've extracted some knowledge from mentally interrogating you. All right, now for the shoot phase, we'll just leave it here. Grayfax will then raise her Condemner bolt gun with the Condemner stake. Although this is the old profile, it's not nearly as good as the new one. And attempt to shoot you. It is in rapid fire, so hitting on threes, re-rolling because she's Ordo Hereticus and you are a Psyker. And then wounding on fours. Yep, wounding on fours, re-rolling. Both wound. Let me double check here. Yep, so it's AP one, and it's three damage each because you're a psyker. So one goes through, he's down to two wounds. Okay. And then my Repentia Superior will then fire her bolt pistol into you. Hitting on threes. And wounding on fours. No wound. Um, I did, and by the way, I did advance with my match fire. Even with Tale of the Faithful, I um, she rolled a one. So not very good tail recountings over there. Let's move over here, though. Can I ask Commander Iverzen and to frack the Faithless with his infernal with her infernal pistol? Hitting on a two. It hits. Strength 8, I'm assuming toughness 7. Uh, I want to make sure this wounds, so I will spend a Miracle Dice to auto wound. Uh, AP? AP 4. Five. And then D6 plus 2 for 5 damage. Down to 4 wounds left. And then that's it for my shooting phase. So now we'll go into charges. We'll just start here. We'll charge Wrecked. I can't fail and I don't want to get too much closer. So we'll just say, boom, just barely in. I forgot to do my victory points. I actually gained uh, 20 victory points because I'm holding my two back objectives and I was holding that one at the start of my command phase, holding more. So I need to correct that on the display there. All right, then we will charge. Ugh. Here's the thing. I want to charge your Terminators, but I know they will shred me. But if I don't charge your Terminators, they will shoot me and shred me. <laughs> so I will. I'll, and you don't have any command points, right? So you can't overwatch? Uh, no. Yep. So we'll just charge them both in. So we'll send uh, Camilla Wynn in to the Terminators and Nyraf. Makes it. And then we'll do Grayfax, which I think I need like a three. Yep. So they both make it in. I have a feeling I'm just going to bounce off of you, but we'll see what happens. All right. Getting nice, close, and personal. All right. We will start with Grayfax into Nyarath, because Grayfax does not like sectors. He gets four attacks, hitting on threes, uh, re-rolling. They all hit, and she is strength. Uh, four. Yep, so four is re-rolling. Three wounds at AP three. It's a master crafted power sword. Nice. Yeah, two damage each. I know it doesn't make you feel any better, but I actually should have had her do it now I think about it, because I took Kingslayer, three experience for whoever kills the warlord. Grayfax can't gain experience because she's a named character. <laughs> so that wasn't too smart. We'll just have her kind of do it like so. But now my superior will get her out with her neural whips and start whipping. <laughs> it's one of the more 70s 
sillier things. Um, so she gets six attacks on the charge. Hitting on threes, sixes explode. No sixes. Um, I'm assuming their leadership is better than an eight. Um, oh no, I'm assuming they have an eight. Yeah, it's, it's at least an eight. They've got to have at least an eight. Yeah, so her neural whips do nothing. Uh, so I am wounding you on fives. One wound okay. as I whip you across the face. AP two, Five. but one damage. Five. Two. So you get all his dust, so it's only going to be a three. He's fine. The whips just bounce off the Terminator armor. And then lastly, we will then go to Kenaness Commander Ava Zen versus Vrekt the Faithless. David versus Goliath. So five attacks base because of her Crusade Relic. Plus one for the charge, plus three for Beneficence. Two's re-rolling. She's mad. And three explosions. Strength six, so wounding on fives. Re-rolling with Righteous Rage. Uh, only three so far. Only four wounds, AP three. Uh, how many? Four. I might not kill. Oh, I was like, I might not kill him. <laughs> exactly four. Oh my gosh. Does he blow up? No. Oh. I was kind of hoping he would, and then maybe like take her with him. And then she will consolidate back this way. All right, and now I'm assuming. I'm oh, sorry, guys. I was super zoomed in and didn't see anything. We are back to here where the Terminators get to smack back Who's, uh, my two. Crayfax for sure. Uh, my Repentia Superior has four, Crayfax has five. Who do I need to kill? Crayfax? Probably. Oh, I forgot to do this. Oh well. Uh, okay, so I will use the staff first. Uh, hitting on threes. Uh, everything in the gray facts. Everything in the gray facts. Uh, three go through. Strength seven. Oh yeah, winning on twos. Uh, one goes through. Negative one. Negative one. So four up save. No. Oh, damage. Three, two. Alright, she's down to three wounds. And then the other rubric, which is Kofesh, where it's called. I didn't use those the last time. Um, I realize I just gained 30, 30 victory points for killing your warlord, unfortunately. Three attacks. Down to three. three. Uh, okay. Strength. So it's Kopesh. Um, Colonel Kamala, so Rick Cannon. Where is the. Kopesh, there it is. Uh, plus one strength. So he's at fives? Fives. So three's the wound. Minus two on a five. No. So damage. Two damage. She's down to one health remaining. That is it for the fight phase for the sisters on round three. That was quite the clap back, but it was pretty brutal. Uh, Miracle dice for killing something. A two. Um, we will be back to Robbie's round two. Actually, I don't know. So I don't know, Robbie, if you can actually win the battle. You can get experience for killing stuff. You can get experience for killing stuff? Absolutely. So that, you know, so we, that, that's one thing about Crusade is you want, yeah. even if the battle is lost, keep going because, you know, you can keep casting to gain your experience yeah. for your specific thing and to keep uh, killing things for kill tallies. So we'll be back at the start of Robbie's round three. All right, start of round three. Robbie goes up to one command point. Only two Cabal points, unfortunately, because he only has two sorcerers left. No victory points. Um, chose to stay in combat with his uh, Terminators. 
than the rubrics. So we're just going to go straight into the psychic phase. All right, so these rubrics, oh, one second, I need to go get that camera on over there. And, uh, but yep, so Grayfax is going to be doom bolted. Oh, let's get a better view so you can actually see Grayfax and the ones doom bolting her. All right, let's get this camera going. So many things when you try to film. All right, doom bolt into Grayfax. So it goes off on a five. She will attempt to do deny it herself. She will say, no! I can just see the psychic battle going back and forth. She gets plus one, it is denied. So then I'll spend a command point and cast. I wish we could have graphics and you see this like psychic bolt come out like a shield comes up like Gandalf or something. And uh, He'll cast you know. his smite on her, on, is it him or her? Uh, Grayfax is a she, yes. Katarina Grayfax. Uh, it goes off on a six. Yep. She gets two denies, so this will be her second deny. Uh, denied on an eight. Then the Terminator will cast his smite. Uh, uh, needed a seven. Okay. Did you want to reroll that with your command point, or did you want to use that with something else? To cast. Oh, do the second cast. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Right, so so these sorcerers, so these dudes can't normally cast two? Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Um, All right, well, shooting. Who do they want to shoot at? Do your Terminators have pistols? No. Uh -huh. Okay. So your rubrics can shoot at people. All my characters that are not in combat are eligible. <laughs> and uh, Canonist Commander, Zen. Eight shots. She has four health remaining. Hitting on threes. Winning on uh, threes. All right, uh, four at negative two. All right, four up Rosarius. And the specialized shields, uh, two go through. What's the damage? Two. Two each. Yeah. So she will go down. And then I will spend two command points at the end of the phase for divine intervention. I'm just going to spend them now going down to two and spending three miracle dice. So she'll come back with three, rune, three wounds at the end of the phase. And then uh, the terminators are all going to attack... Grayfax. Uh, well, they would have to. Do they have bolt pistols? No. Uh -uh. Okay, so your Rubrics can shoot, though. Oh, can they? Yeah, because um, they can't shoot into that combat, but I have two characters behind this wall that you can see. Oh, 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 he can. Okay. Yeah, your, your Rubric Marines, yeah. So I've got my Hospitaller and then my Dialogus, who doesn't know how to uh, clear her throat. Uh, Dialogus, uh, I guess I'll shoot the Flag Bearer. Oh, right, my flag bearer, yes. Wait, who were the two that I could shoot? Those you get my, my hospitaler, my dialogist, and also a third one. Yeah, my magifier right here, Miss Davriana. So it would be eight shots, two. Yep. Uh, and it will be at minus one, because it is going through dents. Four. And then wounding on threes. Right, one at negative two. All right, five up. Makes it on the armor. And the Soul Reaper. Five. That's two. That's strength six. We're running on twos. Running on twos. Oh, man. Yeah. And then, uh, so negative three. Negative three on a six. No. How much damage? Two damage. Two damage. Two damage. One, damage. One damage. Okay, so she goes down to three. All right, now we go into the fight phase. Or oh, did you want to charge with anyone? Remember that I get to fight first because if there's no chargers. It's like if you want to charge your rubrics into Grayfax to attack her before she gets to fight. Yeah, I'll have to, yes. All right, so do need to go through the woods. Uh, eight. Eight, so a six. A six should easily be enough. Oh, yeah. So the rubrics will get to fight Grayfax first. Oh, end of the phase. Kenneth's Commander resurrects with three runes remaining from Divine Intervention. The feeling great facts is going down. <laughs> All right, it's Rubric. Uh, so, he gets, so we'll go with the staff first. He gets three attacks. Oops. These dice. Hitting on threes. One goes through. Strength seven. Uh, 
Uh, is it twos? Twos, yes. Two, uh, negative one. Negative one, so four. She makes it. Right, then the other one's two, four, six, eight. Hitting on threes. And wounding on, was it threes? Threes, yes. Right. That's, Five, yeah. no AP. Five, no AP. Five, three, she needs to make all of these. Uh, ah, if I only waited one where I would have command rolled it, but nope. Grayfax goes down. She is mortally wounded. But, uh... What is that? that? That's... That's one. So two. Yes. Points. Does the character make a difference? Um, no, not unless you have a... Sp there are some agendas where it does make a difference if you're killing a character or not. Oh, no. Okay. Right. Thought I broke Grayfax. Well, she's only wounded in... Fake. Don't wound the model. <laughs> All right, now I'll whip you back. Did you want to consolidate with your rubrics, or do you want to just keep them where they're at? Can I move them, you mean? Mm -hmm. You can move them three inches towards the closest model. No, nah, because I'll put them closer to, that, to them. All right, so Camilla Wynn will attempt her whipping. Um, five attacks this time, because no one charged her. Three sixes explode, so I'll leave one in for the explosion. But need fives. Uh, two wounds, okay. Two wounds, AP one. But one damage each, so uh, I think it goes back to your twos. <laughs> oh, another scar. Is that one? <laughs> yeah, it's just one damage. So he's down to one health remaining. <laughs> and then he gets to slap back. All right, so we'll go with the both the staffs. So the staff will go first, threes. Uh, strength seven, so twos. Uh, negative one. Four. Makes it. Um, then the Kopesh threes, hitting on threes. Uh, one goes through, strength five. So that threes. Yes. Uh, negative, I think, what was it? Negative. Negative two, I think. Yeah, I think it was. Um, negative two. One, three. Negative three. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, negative three. Is this the last attack? Yes. I'll just use this six miracle to auto pass. Show the faith. I just wish I could have a visual of this, like in real scale. <laughs> this little five foot, maybe four female with whips and this like eight, nine foot tall Terminator, and she's just like trying to whip around, and they got <laughs> just see that. just see that visual. Um, I think that's everything. Right. Yep. Yeah. She and she actually got a wound through, so he's not dead, but it, like she got a. Somehow found a crevice in his Terminator armor. All right, so that's the it for Robbie's round. Uh, so we'll be back at the start of my round four. This is just, again, you know, normally if we're playing a normal game, we probably just call it, but now we're both going just for experience points, um, et cetera. So we'll be back at my round four. Hey, start of my round four. Uh, Vic, the victory points don't matter. It's already, I think I'm at 70 now. It doesn't matter. But I've opened my command points. I got a five on my miracle for the end of the turn. Amaya and Sylvia Dane have retreated, getting ready to withdraw. But over here, the combat is still raging. My Magifier moving in. Of course, my Cannon S Commander moving in. There'll be some shooting, and then it's mainly just going to be charges and melee to finish out. I'm neither side willing to concede the field. We just want to take everybody down. Yes, taking everybody down no matter what. Consequences to the war be damned. So first we will start with um, my Cannon S firing her Infernal Pistol into the Rhino. It is going through Dent, so it'll be on a three. It hits. Strength eight, so wounding on a three. We'll go in an auto wound with my five Miracle. AP four, you do get an invul because you're a uh, Yep, because you're the, uh, um, so D6, I'm not within melter range, so just D6, so only two damage. Uh, actually, I'm going to command point and reroll that, go down to two. For a three, that was worth it. <laughs> okay, then my Magifier will shoot her bolt gun. One hit, uh, she's in range for cannon S, reroll the ones, two hits. I need fives to wound. 
One wound, no AP. He's fine. And then for my uh, Repentia, bolt pistol into her melee, misses. All right, so now for charges. Um, I'm going to charge a rhino with my match fire. Can't, can't fail, we'll just throw her in. Then my cannoness is going to charge a rubrix and the scarabs for nine. She is ready to start mulching. Um, you don't have any command points left, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll just uh, start with my magifier. Uh, she takes her flag and starts beating the <laughs> with the flag. Uh, magifier, she gets four attacks on the charge with Bloody Rose. Hinting on threes, re-rolling ones because she's in range of her cannon S. Rolling ones. Oh, very nice. And two. Oh my gosh. She's uh, taking that staff and trying to get through the the eye port where the driver is. Yeah. So she does have plus one strength to make her strength four from tail of the warrior. So we need fives to wound. Wow. Three wounds. AP one. Uh, two, three. So six. So scratch the paint. All right. Now for the mulching. Okay, do I want to do the Terminators or the Rubrics, or both? So she starts with five attacks, plus one for the charge, plus three for Beneficence, and plus D3 because six or more models are within range of her. So an additional two more. All right, so do I split? I know you're supposed to focus fire in these games. Seven. All right, we're going to put seven attacks into the rubrics and four into your terminators. Rubrics first, hitting on twos, re-rolling. No sixes, no explosions. Strength seven, because I'm in range of the tail. So still running on threes, that wouldn't have made a difference. And re-rolling. All right, that'll be seven wounds, AP three. On the terminators? No, this is on your rubrics. But it's going to be AP2 because you get all those dust because it's only one damage each. So, so what is it? I'd say four? Uh, four. Well, your base is a three, three. so you need fives. Right. And they're all dead. Well, it's only one damage each. So, oh, okay. yeah, so one, so two dead, one on, one wound. Actually, probably should have focused, but oh well. Actually, I definitely should have focused. What was I thinking? <laughs> Um, I forgot it was only one damage short that she has. All right, and then four attacks on the Terminators. Yeah, should have focused. Twos. Come on, give me some sixes. Rerolling. Two sixes, okay. Threes into the Terminators. And rerolling. All right, that will be five um, on fours because of your all of du all this dust. Five, you said? Yep, five. Five on fours. Uh, so killed the one, and your sorcerer has one run remaining. He's not dead yet. <laughs> and now you get to pick a unit to attack with. We go the sorcerer. Yep, and he has one wound remaining. Who does? Your sorcerer. Oh, he's down to one. Yeah, he's down to one. At threes. All right, to mean attacking my cannon yeah. yeah, that makes threes. sense. Seven, so two. Uh, negative one. Negative one on a four. Makes it. Uh, then my whip lady, because we just alternate now, yep. will attack your sorcerer with as one wound remaining. Can she, you know, I don't know what the thing is. Can she get a whip to go right into the eye socket of his helmet? But you're all as dust. You wouldn't even feel this anyway. So. It's, it's weird when you say that you're fighting, she can reroll the ones, Candace. Um, fighting uh, Thousand Suns, because they are dust. How do you actually kill that? Uh, no wounds. No! Uh, I'm going to reroll this down to one command point. Yes, one wound. All right, yeah, so power died, memory card went full. And it really sucks because you guys missed just some craziness happening. I, I'll have to see when I edit, but in case it was missed, um, 
basically my Canon S wiped out the rubrics, then the Terminator Sorcerer wiped out my Canon S. My Whip Lady got one wound on the Terminator, but he saved. And now it's time for the Rhino to run over my Magifier. <laughs> the th uh, three attacks. Uh, and six. One. One and two. Got it. No AP. a three. Saved. Okay. Then she'll hit back <laughs> with her staff or her flag. And five, two wounds. Uh, no AP. <laughs> uh, so three? Two. Two. Uh, on three. That's it. They're fine. Okay. All right, so that is it. Um, I mean, miracle That's for killing something. Yeah, we're now going into round five. Do I think we? Do you want to just call it here, or do you want to try to get another kill for your Terminator? Uh, I don't think we can get. Them. I don't think you want to try to kill him. I mean, we can just do it here if you want to. Yeah, miracle. All right, so what? So start of the round, miracle. This is now my round five. I go up to two command points. So what I'm going to do is, she's going to with her bolt pistol, mm -hmm. shoot him in the face. <laughs> but to make sure it happens, I'm going to use this miracle to auto hit. Spend a command point for the stratagem. I can't remember the name, but it's one that lets me use it for a hit and wound, the same one I use. So it is a wound. Yep. No AP, you need a two. Yep. Roll a one. Roll a one. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, and then did you want to. You get first attack in the fight phase. You want the Rhino to try to run over my match fire? Uh, sure. So you got three attacks, two sixes. Uh, one goes through. One goes through. On a three. No, she's down to one health remaining. <laughs> uh, then we'll go into your turn. Uh, miracle for killing something for me. Up to a three. Um, nothing to cast. It's just the rhino. You can put your... So, uh, well, so I'm gonna, so uh, I will heroically intervene, and then we alternate starting with me because technic because there were no charges. Yep. So we're gonna do it with the Imagifier first. No charging, so just basic rolls. Fives. This is getting kind of silly, but it's nothing. So now the Rhino gets to attack. Her, the flag. Need sixes. You got it. Can you wound on a two? Oh, that was interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You got it. Ugh. Well, I'm gonna, and then miracle. Okay. And save, and that will be it. Good heavens, folks! <laughs> that was brutal. My gosh, what is it? Whenever we play <laughs> Sisters bad. versus Thousand Sons, it is a bloodbath. That's all that's on the table, guys. <laughs> a rhino and four characters is all that's left. Um, but the ritual was stopped successfully. Um, so we are happy for that, but uh, exacted a heavy price. Both Robbie and I are going to have a lot of out-of-action rolls to make, and uh, then and I'll also get to choose a character to give a free battle honor. So uh, I will go over that recap coming up next. Okay, well, that was a brutal fight. Uh, seems like we can't have a fight between the Sisters of Battle and Thousand Sons without it being absolutely uh, carnage. <laughs> lots of death and lots of combat going right to the end. No side willing to concede the field. So, I'm going to just do a brief uh, recap of uh, the experience and leveling up, etc., and the consequences of the battle. And uh, as you can see, uh, the ritual that Nyrath the Limitless was attempting to do was stopped. But was it stopped in time? We'll have to see in future episodes of this crusade. Well, now in the aftermath, let's see how experience has played out. And we will start with St. Mina's Angels. And we will start with my Canoness Commander, Ava Zen. And a lot has happened. <laughs> she gained a lot of experience. Uh, one, I marked her for greatness again, because uh, I really just want to focus on her uh, leveling up a lot. And uh, she also failed her out of action roll, uh, the only one to fail this time. Um, and I did not want to give her <coughs> a devastating blow, because then she, 
<coughs> excuse me, ah, a little frog in my throat, she would uh, uh, lose experience and not gain experience, so I had to give her a battle scar, which is going to be nice and thematic moving forward. So she gained three more kill tallies for a total of eight for the entire campaign, which gave her one more experience because she uh, went, uh, she crossed over the line to get another one. Got one for participating, and then I gave her the mark for greatness. That means she gained five experience, and she's at 16, which is the next level up. So she is now quote unquote level two at battle hardened. And. I gave her the Battle Honor Heroic Constitution, which gives her plus one wound, so she now has six wounds instead of five. And for her Battle Scar, I gave her Lost Leg, so she is minus one to remove Advance and Charge, so she now has a prosthetic leg, she's a little slower on the battlefield, has this scar, but she wears it with a badge of honor, uh, now that she has been scarred in her service to the Emperor. And she also gained two more Saint Points for a total of five. And also because she was failed her out of action point, she has gained a martyr point. And how martyr points work for Saint Potentias and Living Saints is that every time this happens, I have to roll a d6, and if I and I add my martyr points to that roll, and if I beat my leadership, the character is perma dead. Crazy, but also really cool narratively. So uh, right now she can't fail, especially because her leadership is now 10, and because of the file of Dolan. So, she can only potentially fail once she gets five mortar points, so I need to be very careful with that to make sure that uh, she doesn't become martyred and I lose the character. And then, because she hit the battle-hardened um, level, I also chose to give her, uh, spend my requisition point I just gained, so I'm right back down to zero, to, she is now finally eligible for saintly benedictions um, requisition. That means I can give her a blessing of the faithful, and she now has the word of the emperor, which means that at the start of every fight phase, she can choose an enemy unit within three inches of her and say, you don't fight until all of my units fight. And then once per game, I can spend a miracle dice, and that's the radius of an ability that will last for an entire round of turning off all invulnerable saves for enemies within that range in the fight phase. So pretty powerful, um, but she has now been blessed um, from uh, on her journey to sainthood. And then we'll just quickly go through. Not a lot else happened, just uh, gaining some experience. Uh, the only other person to uh, uh, level up, let's see here. Yes, here we go. We My Magifier, Sister Mist Avriana, leveled up. So I gave her the Battle Honor Pure of Soul, which means that if she succeeds in denying the witch, she gains a Miracle Dice. And then, uh, unfortunately, my dialogist sister, Sylvia Dane, is just doing horribly. <laughs> I keep rolling ones on her intoning him, so she's actually going to sit out the next battle. She will not be participating. She needs to do some introspection as to why she can't figure out how to sing these most holy hymns. <coughs> Excuse me. My hospitaler, sister Amaya Vrain, I gave her the uh, victory bonus for winning the battle. I was able to give a unit a free battle honor because I won. And I chose to give her Spiritual Healer, which means that if she survive is was not taken out at the end of the battle, I can auto-pass one out-of-action test for one of my units that was killed in the battle. So this will be very important to help keep uh, Canonist Commander Ava Zen on her path to become a living saint and to reduce the number of martyr points she gains. But that means I have to keep my hospitaler safe, because she if she is uh, killed during a battle, she does not get that ability for out-of-action tests at the when we do the resolution of the battle. So I need to be sure to keep my Hospitaller safe. And then my Seraphim, fortunately they passed her out of action test, but they didn't do much. They got blasted off the board pretty hard. <laughs> and then uh, nothing else really going on in my Repentia. Um, they, gained one, they gained one experience for participating. Um, uh, or I'm sorry, Repentia Spirit Camilla win gained one experience for participating. Uh, and that you did gain one kill tally on her way to every, remember every three gives you an experience. But my Repentia, yeah, where are they? They still have Battle Weary, which means that they cannot gain more than one experience for battle. So they only gained a participation experience. I couldn't even have the option of giving them a, uh, a Battle Honor or a, uh, a Mark for Greatness. Um, I can use Requisition Point to heal this, but I wanted to spend that on getting the Saintly Blessing for my Canoness, so they are still battle-weary, this Repentia squad. They still have a long way to go to earn their redemption. 
for the servants of Nyrath. Uh, we did have, I think, a couple levels up. So Nyrath Limitless himself has gained, has now leveled up, has reached the experience level to become blooded. And Robbie chose to give him Psychic Might. And then for Asmakir the Accursed, also leveled up. And Robbie chose to give him Master of Lore. I'll be honest, I don't know what those do because I don't have the Zinch uh, or the A Thousand Suns book. But uh, perhaps in the next battle, um, I'll be sure to have Robbie describe what these battle honors do for his main characters. And then, uh, like I said, he succeeded on all of his out-of-action tests for all of his units. So everyone is, you know, fine on his end. Those are the two main ones, or his two sorcerers, um, Nyrath and Asmakir, gaining Psychic Might and Master of Lore. So a pretty uh, uh, brutal game. The You could say the game is afoot, so to speak. The, ca the campaign is afoot. And we are going to be adding... Um, a new some new campaign um, rules going in uh, as we move forward in the campaign um, I just picked up the Wars of Faith <clears throat> um, Crusade campaign book and it has uh, we're not going to do the actual specific location this is based on I'm just going to be using this as inspiration and it means that uh, have using um, we each pick a religious faith that we, our faction will be following and you can earn um, faith points you can have uh, um, as you develop through the campaign you can have one of your characters become a paragon um, there's uh, some new and unique missions in this book um, with different unique objectives etc and some new agendas as well so excited to start adding some of the rules from the wars of faith crusade book to our Hephaestus campaign so be on the lookout coming out uh, uh, next Friday we're gonna have a battle between the Space Wolves, Fury Unchained, and the Thousand Sons, the Servants of Nyrath. An old grudge match between the Space Wolves and the Thousand Sons. Those that know the lore um, know that during the Horus Heresy on Prospero, uh, there is quite a vendetta between these fa these two factions against each other. They hate each other. And um, one of these days, when I get around to doing my lore videos, we will be covering the burning of Prospero and uh, what happened with Magnus the Red and Lehman Russ and the Space Wolves and the Thousand Suns and why there's such enmity there. But uh, in the meantime, you'll just have to see how that brutality plays out as uh, Fury Unchained has heard word that a faction of the Thousand Suns is, on, is in the Hephaestus system and is now moving in to exact even more vengeance upon those uh, sorcerers who betrayed the Emperor. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying this crusade and this narrative. And be on the lookout next week for the battle between the Thousand Suns and the Space Wolves. So until next time, take it easy.